8 time slot right and one time slot is 577 microsecond and so we call it as this 8 time slot on one frequency we call it as a 1 TDMA frame and the total time for 1 TDMA frame is 4.615 millisecond and for each time slot is 577 microsecond so you can see I mean there's eight user user 1 user 2 user 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so for each user out of out of 4.615 millisecond everybody will get 577 microsecond time to use the chair or use the time slot after that they have to uh, release the time slot they have to give it to user user 2 so this is what we call it as a TDMA and uh, for that you can I can give a time slot number so this is time slot number 0 this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so now we understand that uh, in 900 we have 124 channel and uh, we divided among the three operators so I got a 41 channel and my in, in one channel in each one channel I can accommodate eight user right but as you know that means only the user is, is cannot be because the only traffic cannot be means we need some signaling also right so please remember that this is what the TDMA frame so this is the TDMA frame number one where I got only one chance so say say for example if if I am a user number one so I got a one chance and then to get the second time I need to again again get one TDMA frame and in that the first time slot which is belongs to me so like I, I will jump over from here and then I will not use anything then I will I will again use over here so this is what we have it now as you know that in one frequency you have a 8 user right and now you have a total 41 frequency in your network right now you know it is very much important to understand this all frequency you cannot use for traffic you have to use certain frequency for signaling also so we have a major two type of you know uh, the, the, the segregation of the frequency one is the BCCH frequency other one is TCH frequency and so you have to plan I mean in, in the each cell I mean in each cell site you need to plan at least uh, not at least it, uh, at least you need to plan one TRX for each TR each cell you need to plan one TRX as a BCCH TRX and then you can have a multiple TRX maybe one two three four or uh, even more as a TCH TRX uh, for traffic purpose the TRX is trans receive station right TRX trans receive unit and one TRX require minimum one frequency to radiate so one TRX means one frequency I can say and the one TRX means I can say eight time slot yeah I hope this is very much clear right so you can see if I want to plan in a certain direction means I want to plan one cell in one direction to cover the traffic or the cover the area I have to plan one TRX so this is a one TRX uh, this is let's say this is one cell in one direction as a one TRX is a BCCH and I need to plan the other TRXs as a TCCH so you can see I have a different two color red color is, is my BCCH TRX and uh, these colors are my TCH TRX right so now we understand that we have to plan one TRX in every cell as a BCCH TRX the remaining we have to plan the TRX for the TCH so we need to divide our 41 frequency into two different category the BCCH planning, BCCH TRX plan, and other one is band is for the TCH TRX planning. Right. So let us see how we do that. Right. So it is up to you. I mean, how you wanted to do that. So you have a total 41 frequency available. It's very easy. 
now depends how good you are on the frequency plan and how much capacity you want on the TCH you have to decide how many frequency you wanted to keep for the BCCH so let's say for our example I, I have decided to go for 12 frequency I will use the 12 frequency for uh, BCCH and the remaining frequency so how many is remaining is uh, 41 minus is 29 frequency I will use for TCH planning so this this is for BCCH layer planning this is for traffic layer planning right so now you can see you have the uh, total band available is a 41 in your network right you have 41 1 to 41 frequency inside that up to 12 so 1 to 12 this frequency this frequency you use for BCCH this frequency you use for TCH so those are the 29 so if I, I want to say uh, it start from 13 to 41 so 13 to 41 those are the TCH now normally and in the, in the, the network if you have enough frequency and you are very much concerned about the uh, BCCH and TCH you should keep such one frequency at least let us sacrifice the 13 number of the frequency as a guard frequency so we will skip we will not use this frequency anywhere so this is we call it as a guard frequency between the BCCH and TCH band now you can see here so my usable frequency are 12 so this is 12 I can use for BCCH remaining uh, you know how much total was 29 before but now I need to minus 1 because I am going to use this this frequency for the guard frequency so now total available is 28 frequency for TCH right so this is what it is so you can see this this is my this is my TCH layer frequency this is my BCCH layer frequency right so you understand very well I mean now we have a choice of 12 frequency where we need to plan one TRX in every cell so let us plan one side you know just let us plan one side for uh, getting better understanding okay so for example I have a one cell site has a three cells okay so I have a three cells and now in each cell so for example these are the three cells in one cell site and now each cell has let's say 4 TRX so 4 TRX so trans receive units so we we have a 4 TRX in each direction we have a 4 TRX here okay now as you know that one TRX has to be the BCCH TRX right in each direction and the BCCH TRX has the specific uh, you know signaling responsibility we will see more in detail in the later later topic so this one TRX I plan for the BCCH and uh, my another TRX is I need to plan on a TCH so you can see now this the this this different color are showing the different layers so green is showing the TCH layer for the traffic and the, the red is showing the TC uh, red is showing the BCCH layer so you can see this my this TRX my green TRX is is a TCH TRX right and my red TRX is BCCH TRX let us do one small plan of frequency here so as we know that we have uh, two band so I can I can uh, write down here 1 to 12 we have a frequency for uh, BCCH and we have not 13 13 is for uh, not used because we have skip uh, for the guard band right where we have another frequency from starting from 14 to 41 so this is for TCH and this is for BCCH so let us plan the BCCH frequency for 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 the cell site so let us plan uh, okay it's very easy here we have only one cell site so no need to worry much okay now you understand the co-channel and adjacent channel as I dis described in the previous chapter so here you can see there is uh, I, I put the frequency number one 
now I cannot put the two here otherwise what will happen within the same site we, we will end up into the adjacent channel I cannot put the one also otherwise it will be co-channel so I have to I have to keep some distance from one if more you keep the distance is good but let us say we'll use phi over here so it is quite safe we are very far from each other we are not adjacent channel and here I will use 9 so we have used 3 frequency out of 12 and for now green let us let us try uh, the planning for green so it's very easy I can start from 14 here then I will skip at least 4 frequency gaps so I'll put 18 here and I'll keep 22 here so you can see that within the same cell I'm using 14, 18 and 22 so they are not adjacent they are not co-channel same way in the other side I can start uh, maybe I can use 24 just for uh, 28 32 and 32 over here then I can use here 36 maybe 40 then you can see I cannot uh, use uh, 44 because it is not belongs to me I have up to 44